many ingenious and lovely things are gone. It seemed sheer miracle to the multitude. Protected from the circle of the moon that bitches common things about. There stood amidst the ornamental bronze and stone and ancient image made of olive wood. And gone are Phidias' famous ivories and all the grasshoppers and bees. We too had many pretty toys when young, a law indifferent to blame or praise, to bribe or tread, habits that made old wrong, melt down as it were, wax in the sun's rays, public opinion ripening for so long we thought it would outlive all future days. What fine fault we had because it thought it all the worst. Rogues and rascals had died out. All teeth were drawn, all ancient tricks unlearned. A great army, but a showy thing. What matter that no cannon had been turned into a plowshare? Parliament and king fought that unless a little powder burned, the trumpeteers might burst with trumpeting. And yet it lack all glory, and perchance the guardman's drowsy charges would not prance. Now days are dragon-ridden, the nightmare rides upon a sleep. A drunken soldiery can leave the mother murdered at her door to crawl in her own blood and go scot-free. The night can sweat with terror as before we beast our thoughts into philosophy and planned to bring the world under a rule who are but weasels fighting in a hall. He who can read the signs nor sink on land to the half the seed of some intoxicant, who knows no work can stand whether health or wealth or peace of mind were spent. Masterwork of intellect or hand. No honor leave this mighty monument has but one comfort left. All triumph would but break upon this ghostly solitude. there any comfort to be found? Man is in love and loves what vanishes. What more is there to say? That the country round none dared admit. If such a fault were his incendiary or bigot could be found to burn that stump on the Acropolis. Or break in bits the famous ivories and traffic in the grasshoppers and bees. Couldn't be more topical, I think. <laughs>